Nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk passenger train derailed and overturned in the Komi Republic of Russia. Emergency medical teams have been dispatched to the scene. Trains have been stopped. The number of injured passengers has not been disclosed. The head of Komi, Vladimir Weba, went to the area where the train accident took place. There were no fatalities as a result of the derailment of nine carriages of the Vorkutinovorossiysk train in Komi. In general, the train consisted of 14 carriages carrying 232 passengers. According to preliminary information, there were no fatalities as a result of the incident, Western Interregional Investigation Department of the Russian Transport Investigative Committee said. The administration noted that 70 people were injured as a result of the incident. News agencies quoted police and emergency services as saying injuries included fractures, bruises, cuts and head trauma. Video posted online showed passengers being hoisted through smashed windows of overturned cars before being led away from the accident. Several carriages were seen lying on their side on the edge of the railed. Russian news agencies quoted officials as saying that two auxiliary trains and investigators had been dispatched to help evacuate passengers from the area, made up largely of forest and swamp. <laughs> Ukraine's using World War II-style fighter jets to down Russian drones on the battlefield is a humiliating blow to Vladimir Putin's war efforts. Dramatic footage taken from a Russian drone in April and circulated in media shows a Ukrainian Cold War-era propeller-driven plane named Yak-52s hunting it down in the sky above southern Ukraine. The footage showing Ukraine's Yak-52 plane in an intense dogfight with a Russian drone is reminiscent of World War II scenes. Retired commander of Royal Air Force, Air Marshal Greg Bagwell told The Sun that Ukraine has taken inspiration from British single-seat fighter aircraft named Spitfires in fighting Russian troops in the skies. Bagwell said using WW2-style Yak-52 is an inexpensive and safe way of defending Ukraine's skies against Russian drones. We are seeing a rebirth of air power back from 1914 and 1940s. The reason we are seeing this is because these Russian drones are quite a nuisance for Ukraine, the retired air marshal said, adding that these aircraft and plenty and cheap. But they fly in relatively predictable profiles so they're quite vulnerable and fragile. Manufactured in the 1970s, the two-seat aircraft have been deployed by Ukrainian troops to track down Russian drones. The video published in social media, shows the co-pilot look up at the drone before shooting it down. In a separate video, Ukraine's vintage plane, named the The Drone Hunter, can be seen circling Russia's Orlan UAV after it took damage from a direct hit over Ukraine's Odessa city. It should be noted that Ukraine's military have been consistently adapting and improving their aircraft and weaponry since Russia launched full-scale invasion of the country back in 2022. Russians are cancelling reservations and packing their bags in Crimea after Ukrainian missile strikes. After Sunday's explosions in the Sevastopol area, vacationers are fleeing occupied Crimea, tourists are refusing travel permits and cancelling hotel reservations. Although the authorities are trying to hide it, it is already known that the beaches on the peninsula have been emptied. Even those who rested here under the free program, go. Ukrainian Obzorevitel media outlet reports this. It is noted that on Sunday near the beach of Utievka in Sevastopol, Russian air defense shot down a missile, its wreckage flew to the beach 
where vacationers were at that time. As a result, dozens of people were injured and four died. As expected, the occupiers accused Ukraine and the USA of shelling peaceful vacationers. The Crimean Authority has always assured that vacationing on the peninsula is safe, even during a full-scale war. She said that they don't shoot here, and if something explodes, it's far away, somewhere near military facilities. Now, according to the members of the Association of Tour Operators, tourists are refusing the tours. However, even now, tour operators note the refusal of permits is allegedly isolated. At the same time, the so-called Ministry of Economic Development of Crimea urged market participants not to find those who decided to cancel their vacation on the peninsula. Already, all bookings have been stopped. People are calling and saying, that's it, they won't come, return the deposit. But not all hosts will return their money, they will hope to the last that time will pass, everything will calm down and people will come. Well, not in Krasnodar, where else should they go? The prices are high there and the beaches are crowded, says Yevhen, who rents out housing in Crimea. The Russian mass media spread information that there are allegedly no queues of cars on the Crimean bridge towards Russia. Therefore, in their opinion, no one was afraid of anything. Everyone stayed to rest under rocket attacks. In fact, the majority of Crimean vacationers are budget workers who came here by train. Some state employees, frightened by the explosions in Sevastopol, rushed home. They packed their suitcases already on Sunday. They were persuaded, told that everything is calm in Feodosia, but they still went to the station to Simferopol. The road to both ends was paid for by the state. Now they will either change the return tickets or they will buy, says a worker at one of the sanatoriums in Feodosia.